Hi, I'm Hazel. With a new toy collecting meta coming up in BFA, now is a great time to beef up your toy collection. Here are 37 toys that you can just buy off a vendor for gold and where to find them. Most of them are cheap, some of them are expensive, but they're all available for plain old ordinary gold. No rep required. Some of them are class specific, but luckily we live in an age of class trials, which more or less solves that problem. Your first stop should be, shockingly enough, a toy store. There is one in Legion's Dalaran, but you can also get all of this in Stormwind or Orgrimmar. There is a patrolling vendor to find. Black's Bottle Rocket for the Horde patrols up and down the drag, while Craggle Wobble Top for the Alliance patrols around the canal side of the Trade District. Make sure that you have the pigskin, the football, the blue crash and thrash and racer controller, tiny green ragdoll, tiny blue ragdoll, wind up train wrecker, toy train set, and the soft foam sword. If you catch him during Children's Week, you will also find balloon toys. Not counting the seasonal stuff, that's eight toys. In Stormwind, Alliance characters can find Lenny, Fingers, McCoy, and buy Bombay's Color Sea and Sauce. The toys account wide, so even if you're a Horde main, you can get an Alliance class trial or DK to scrape up 200 gold and you're set. That's nine. Next on the list, you'll need a Horde character. Head to the Troll starting area in Duratar and talk to Ravika here to get the Whole Body Shrinka, Senjin Spirit Drum, and Xantish's Flute. We're up to 12 toys. These ones are pretty fun. You can summon some drums, get a bunch of snakes to follow you, shrink yourself down real tiny, and then pretend the giant snakes are gonna get ya. Who said there was nothing to do in WoW? These three are usable by both factions, you just need to be Horde to buy them. Next up, get yourself onto a priest, head out to Light's Hope Chapel in the Eastern Plaguelands and talk to Quartermaster Miranda Breachlock to buy a Thaumaturgist's Orb for 50 gold. That's toy number 13. On a Shadow Priest, that'll give you Shadow Ravens flying around you for 5 minutes. If you're Holy Spec, it'll appear as a Swirling Light Orb instead. Disc will get one of the two randomly. It's usable by Priests only, but of course will still count towards your total. Next stop is Ashara, where a player of either faction can visit Tex Vorticoil here and purchase Kalitha's Haunted Locket. It'll cost you 5,000 gold, but gold comes and goes while your toy count? That's permanent. The locket causes you to take on the appearance of Kalitha the Night Elf Ghost for half an hour. We're up to 14 toys. Next, with a druid character, stop by Moonglade and check in with Lorelei Wintersong here to pick up the Nature's Beacon for 50 gold. Again, class trial characters can be useful here. Using the toy is druid only and teleports you to a natural location at random. Even toys that you can't use count towards your meta achievement total, so they are still worth getting. For the next stop, take a Shaman character either out to the Throne of Elements in Outlands Nagrand, or to Flamesmith Landing in your class hall to pick up the Water Speaker's Totem, Vulgin Serpent Totem, the Tadpole Cloud Seeder, and Raging Elemental Stone. Using them is Shaman only, but having them is an easy plus four to your toy count. If you cannot see the Water Speaker's Totem, try specking Resto. We're up to 19 new toys. The next ones are a little pricey. In Shatra City, you can pick up the Noble's Eternal Elementium Signet for 3k and the Eternal Black Diamond Ring for 5k from Harris Pilton found here. Like I said, the gold will come back. That brings us up to 21 toys. The Black Ring actually appears in your character's hand, while the Signet is just a bit of a bullying effect. Unfortunately, you cannot have both active at once. For the next two, bring a mage to Northrend's Dalaran and talk to Endora Moorhead in the Sister Sorceress shop with at least 550 gold to pick up the Familiar Stone and Dalaran Initiate's pin. These are limited stock, so if the vendor is out, just try checking back in an hour. That's 23 toys. The next two are either hilarious or really morbid depending on your sense of humor. In the Valley of the Four Winds, stop by Sally Fizzle Fury here to buy the Foxicopter controller and stackable stag toys for 1k gold each. She's also an engineering trainer, so it isn't immediately obvious that she's a vendor, which makes her easy to miss. That makes 25 toys. Next on our tour, stop by the main building of a level 3 Draenor garrison to pick up a personal spotlight from Trader Aranda for Alliance or Derek for Horde. If you don't have a level 3 garrison, try to find somebody who does and then visit their garrison. That's toy number 26. We'll find two more toys in that same level 3 garrison. Look for Benjamin Brode patrolling outside to get the Hearthstone board and winning hand, which brings us up to 28. Typing slash tar Ben and then turning on track targets should help you find him. For toy 29, take a hunter either out to the Nessingwari camp of Shulazar Basin and talk to Martin Thunderhoof, or simply see Outfitter Reynolds in your class hall to buy the Hunter's Call toy. That'll summon a little temporary companion theme to a hunter aspect for 15 seconds on a 30 second cooldown. Over in High Mountain, find Sly Hoof the Shameless Shaman here to get the Brolfist Idol. Now, he'll only sell this after the buyer has completed the Unexpected Allies quest, which is pretty deep into the High Mountain questline. If you unlocked Legion Flying, just bring the character that you did that on. That makes Toy 30. 
If you talk to any stable master or Brienne and Dalaran, you can purchase two pet leash toys, the Rope Pet Leash and the Red Ribbon Pet Leash. Target a pet and use the leash for an adorable or weird experience depending on your pet of choice. There's toy 31 and 32. Next, if you haven't already, stop by your heirloom vendor in Ironforge for Alliance and Undercity for Horde to check out the map toys. They are 10k gold each, but there's two of them for each faction, so a total of four toys to be had, and learning a book for one faction automatically credits you that book for the other one, so only 20k gold needed. That brings us to 36. Those are expensive, but they're really handy if you level alts. Using them will learn a set of basic flight points right off the bat. Finally, in Legion's Dalaran, Geppetto Joybuzz of the Wonderworks will sell the Dalaran disc for 80 gold. He's also got the basic set of vendor toys, so you can double check and make sure that you didn't miss anything. That makes 37, but there's two more that kinda qualify, so we'll take a quick look at those two. If you take a priest to the underbelly of Legion's Dalaran and find Kravitz Laurent, you can buy the Scarlet Confessional book for 50 gold. Now, Kravitz is not always available. He's got a roughly 5 hour spawn time, but should stay up for close to an hour once he's up. Check for groups in the custom finder, or just keep checking back. And last, honorable mention to the prismatic bauble from the Mad Merchant. You can't just buy it with gold, but one, the merchant needs to be up, which he isn't always, and two, the toy costs 250,000 gold. That's not undoable, but we've got brontosauruses to be saving up for over here. That's a later me kind of toy splurge. So, those are the easiest vendor toys to get you started. There are tons more easy toys out there, but they might require a little rep or special currency. Thanks for watching, let me know what you think, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye!